Hey everyone, Kyle Walker here. If you love cars, fixing things, or just want to understand your vehicle better, you're in the right place. I share hands-on tips, smart driving advice, and straight-up car talk without the fluff. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stick around till the end. You don't want to miss what's coming up. Let's A get into it. A modern car, filled with all kinds of sensors, is designed to simplify the care and maintenance of the car, since many processes are managed by the ECU. It reads information from the sensors, processes it, sends response signals, sets settings, changes the mode of operation of the engine, and more. But if there are any malfunctions with the sensors, ECU fixes it, saves errors in the memory. Having read them with the help of a scanner or other equipment, it is possible to find out with what exactly controller problems are observed and take measures to eliminate them. One of such errors is considered P0110, what the error indicates. The error code P0110 indicates a problematic intake air temperature sensor. The meaning of the error is that the ECU detects inoperability of the sensor responsible for controlling the intake air temperature. There are similar errors to P0110. These are P0111, P0112, and P0113. In the first case, it is a failure of the DTVB sensor. In the second case, it is evidence of a low signal from the sensor. And in the third case, it indicates a high signal level. P0110 differs from them in that it does not report about the specific causes of malfunction. After all, it may be due to a broken circuit, short circuit, or simply a breakdown of the device itself. The problem can be solved by cleaning the contacts, checking the connections, and replacing them. In most cases, the intake air temperature sensor is located on the air filter housing or directly behind it. But the design of all manufacturers is different. In some cars, the sensor has its own housing. In other situations, it may be part of another sensor. And it is the mass airflow controller. The sensor itself is essentially a thermistor. It is built into the housing and air flows through the sensing element. Depending on what temperature the intake air is at, the electrical resistance of the controller changes. If the temperature goes down, the resistance goes up. If the temperature rises, the resistance falls. The received information is transmitted to the ECU. The ECU already decides whether to increase or decrease the volume of injected air when creating a fuel-air mixture based on fuel and intake air. Symptomatology of the error P0110 error itself does not have a pronounced and characteristic symptomatology. That is, according to these signs, it is unlikely to be 100% guaranteed that the problem lies exactly in the sensor of air temperature. At the inlet to the collector, in the warm period, the error may not manifest itself at all. This is due to the fact that the ECU in the conditions of sensor failure works in the programmed mode in which the air temperature is perceived at 20 degrees Celsius. Because of this, the behavior of the car really may not change in any way. Changes occur as the air temperature drops. So it is mainly in winter that the symptoms are observed. If the error P0110 caused by a faulty air temperature sensor has appeared on the car, it may be accompanied by the following symptoms. Check engine lamp, check engine, is constantly lit on the dashboard. Engine startup becomes more difficult. You have to spend more. Time, the ECU puts the engine into emergency mode. The engine is unstable due to too poor mixture formed in the combustion chamber. Engine speeds float, can jump a lot. Read also, what you need to install an additional radiator cooling automatic transmission and how to do it to confirm or refute the theory about the possible failure of the temperature sensor. You should connect to the ECU with a scanner or read the errors with a smartphone and diagnostic software installed on it. Causes of the error. The most important thing for the motorist is to find out what exactly the malfunction of the intake air temperature sensor is associated with. Further actions to eliminate the problem depend on this. Error code P0110 is a signal that it is necessary to check the node. Potential causes are several. They include sensor breakage, broken or damaged controller contacts, open or short circuit, contamination of the sensor. Based on the reason why the error code P0110 related to the temperature sensor came out, you should take appropriate corrective action. On which cars it occurs. There is no specific attachment to certain models and brands of car, 
on which the error P0110 necessarily appears. This largely depends on the condition of the car, the quality of the sensors used, the quality of the wiring, the operating conditions. In practice, error P0110 can appear both on a new car of Toyota Camry level and on a used Diwu Meitai's or an old commercial Ford Transit. But among the most frequent requests and appeals to the car service, when the error P0110 is diagnosed, are the following makes and models of cars. VAZ2114 Opel Vectra Ford Transit Mitsubishi Lancer Nissan Toyota Models up to 2009, etc. But on some cars, the error P0110 is recorded much less often. These include the Mercedes model range, new models of Volkswagen, Audi, and Skoda. And also Japanese leaders in the face of Honda, Toyota, after 2010 and Mazda. This does not mean that you will never get the P0110 error when buying such cars. If you notice certain changes in the car behavior, engine check light, simply connect to the ECU and read the error codes. If among them there is error P0110, try to determine the cause of its occurrence, eliminate, and then reset. After these manipulations, error P0110 should go away. Diagnostics and troubleshooting. At the final stage it is necessary to find out because of what exactly the error code with the value P0110 came out, and try to eliminate the cause. In most cases, it is not necessary to seek help in a car service and pay for the services of specialists. Everything can be done with your own hands. Controller contamination. The most trivial, but at the same time the most common cause of this error. Contamination provokes changes in the correct operation of the sensor. To test this theory, you should find the sensor having checked the operating manual and visually inspect it. Usually, it is held on one to four bolts and is located near the air filter. It can be cleaned with the help of special cleaners or by soaking it in ordinary gasoline, alcohol, diesel oil. Then the controller is carefully wiped, dried, and returned to its place. Be careful not to break the integrity of the contacts during cleaning. Otherwise, even a serviceable sensor will be damaged and you will have to buy a new one. Sensor failure, another, but not particularly common cause. The temperature sensor is simple in design, and therefore it is considered reliable and durable. You can check this theory by installing a similar new device. There is another option. Install your own sensor in a car where the native controller is definitely working. If on that car there are similar problems to yours, the matter is in the sensor. The price for it is not the lowest, so it is worth it to make sure that it is defective. Condition check. Checking the sensor is not difficult. To do this, you will need an ordinary multimeter, switch to the voltage measurement mode. The output voltage from the sensor should be about 5V. If the values are very different or there is no voltage at all, the sensor is defective, broken, and damaged contacts. In terms of prevalence, this cause can be put on a par with contamination of the intake air temperature controller. The wires could be damaged, the contact is broken. The easiest way to check this is to use a multimeter, dialing all the contacts. If necessary, they are restored, resoldered, short circuit, and open circuit. Here, too, you need a diagnostic device. The wiring may show signs of short circuits and breaks. In this case, it is better to replace the damaged wires. Read also, what is a splitter, why it is needed, and how to install it on the car. The biggest fear of motorists is the need to buy a new sensor. In some cases, its price can be more than four to 5,000 rubles. But cheaper analogs are available on sale. In general, the high price is relevant to the original temperature controllers. To save on such a purchase or not, it is a personal matter of everyone. But frankly, cheap spare parts should not be bought. This may cause malfunctions in the ECU and engine, which will provoke additional problems, expenses, and repairs. Having found out what caused the error, do not forget to reset it from the memory of the electronic unit. Usually this is done by resetting the minus terminal on the battery. But this is not the best solution, as it is possible to reset other equipment in parallel. It is better to apply a program method, using a diagnostic scanner or smartphone, on which special software is installed. There are many free and effective programs for solving such problems. In conclusion, the P0110 error code indicates an issue with the intake air temperature sensor circuit, which can lead to poor engine performance and increased emissions. To resolve this problem, 
It's essential to diagnose the underlying cause, whether it's a faulty sensor, wiring issues, or a malfunctioning engine control unit. By following the steps outlined in this video, you can effectively troubleshoot and eliminate the P0110 error, ensuring your vehicle runs smoothly and efficiently. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more automotive insights and tips.